All right, today's going to be just a little bit different. Uh, today we went through and found found the LT questions that you guys are scoring the lowest on, and we're going to go through, we're going to review those and explain them, kind of show them in expanded form. Um, so today, instead of one long video, you're going to see a bunch of very short videos. So only look at the ones you need to, um, only look at the ones you're confused on. If you know how to do some of the problems, you can skip those videos, but make sure you do the ones that are important. Um, we do want to review this uh, before your test. There will be a test on Thursday uh, on section 7.1 to 7.4, so unit 7A. So any type of exponent thing that we've done, as well as scientific notation. We do encourage you to use your notes, um, do what you need to in order to do it. The test will be on Schoology, so you can find that there on Thursday. We will be doing review on um, today and Wednesday to help you out with that. A couple things that we are noticing is how to leave your answers. Uh, remember, any time in Schoology, if you're putting an exponent, you want to use Shift-6 on your computer to get the caret symbol. Um, so if I wanted to say x to the third power, I would say x, Shift-6, 3, x to the third power. And if you're doing fractions, so if I wanted to say 1 over x cubed, then you're going to use the slash symbol. So I would put into Schoology as 1 slash x Shift 6, 3. And that's how we're looking for it on Schoology. A couple other rules about exponents um, is that if there, we always want our final answer to have positive numbered exponents. So for example, the number x to the negative 2, I know we're not done with that because I have a negative exponent. We want only positive exponents. Um, if you see something like um, x to the 0, Zero is not a positive number, so I know I'm not finished with that. Let me make that look a little better. X to the zero, that's not a positive number. If I have something like a4, b to the negative 2, c5, d3, um, I know this answer isn't quite done yet because I have one negative exponent that I need to take care of. So you'll know you're done when you have all positive exponents. The other thing we want to point out is that you should only have one of each letter in your final answer. So if this is my problem, uh, we have a to the fourth b squared, we'll say it's a positive 2 now, uh, c to the fifth d cubed, and then we have c to the 2. Um, I know this problem is not complete yet because I have a c and I have another c. Any final answer is going to have just one of the letter in your final answer. So then this final answer would be a to the fourth, b2, c7, d3. Now I only have one c in my, in my problem, so that is the final answer. And then lastly, just a reminder that if we have something like um, 5x to the fourth, um, this 4 is only doing to the fourth what it's touching. So this is kind of like what that is, 5 times x to the fourth. If we wanted to do 5x and all of it to the fourth, then it would be in parentheses, and we would do this here and this here, which would equal 5 to the fourth, x to the fourth. So there's a difference between this one up on top and this one on the bottom. 